Well, hey there guys, uh, Elton here, aka you know what, and if you don't know what, then you ain't subscribed. So if you dig this video and you watch another one of my videos, another video, you might be hooked and then you'll hopefully subscribe. Actually, it's something that's interesting when you look at it, when you're a YouTuber, a serious YouTuber like me, you have an analytics section of your uh, YouTube and it shows you uh, things like, you know, how long people watch videos for, what's the age group demographic, where do people watch videos from, and... And, uh, yeah, a lot of people don't watch videos completely. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of important because a lot of videos can have surprising twists in them, you know? Uh, not this video. It's not going to be surprising, but I think it was about time to give you guys a uh, update. And I'm looking here at this plant my mom gave me. I'm not, not too sure it's very happy with me because, you know, my mom keeps most of her plants in a solarium, as you can imagine. It's, you might as well own a greenhouse, because that's the ideal place for for plants, plant, plantation. And it's in good health, but I see some droopage on some of those leaves. So, what do, we, what do you want, you know? I mean, anyway. Going off topic. Uh, so, yeah, I've been working hard, uh, mostly. Um, see, that's the way I want it to look. See how I just panned over? Now it, it actually looks like the actual color that I painted this orange, it's cadmium yellow, but it looks more orange, and that's why I'm filming with my camera and not the phone, because the phone has a tendency to uh, to have like a light compensation to make some certain things brighter, like the color on this Ford. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I've uh, mostly uh, worked on the uh, the apartment uh, building buildings in the background here, and I got this light here from my office, which is fantastic. Because that portable light that I was going to use again, I was I was like, man, it's not it's not enough. It's not intense enough. I need to be able to see well what I'm doing and all these details. Specifically working uh, on the window frames here um, and uh, the uh, walls before, you know, they were brown, but I didn't like it. There was no texture to them. I'm like, I'm not. I can't. I can't paint bricks. You know, it's too impossible. It's like dee -dee -dee -dee, this is way too small. So I just having a little fun with a little yellow and brown, kind of golden, you know. Anyway, kind of hence the New York term brownstone, which refers to an old building usually because they're usually brown. And uh, yeah, again, a couple of, you know, things with the windows open. Again, to use, you didn't lose, you see the last video. I, I got this picture I cut out from uh, one of my a few New York City books. This one for being from the best one I have. It's really an astounding book. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, whatever. I think it's... Uh, I don't know if it's Little Italy or whatever, Lower West Side or something, but anyway, so it's not it's not 100% replicated, but it's, it's still very good because anyway, the whole idea here was to do a life-size Ford LTD, and as I mentioned in other videos, let's say 75 to 78. Of course, this body style was made from 73 to 78, but if I had done a 73 to 74, uh, there would have been a uh, like a molding here right along here sort of like maybe a little lower than the line here and I don't know I didn't feel like doing that so even though mind you I noticed and if I didn't mention it before that uh, uh, the uh, it seems that uh, New York Taxi is anyway Ford's for that matter that had the yellow rims like that matching with the, the yellow on the bodies it looks like they did that I think till 75 maybe 76 Maybe 75, I'd say, and then after that, they were black rims, you know. And then Chevrolet along eventually went with that, and uh, eh, Chrysler, you know, th at that time, Dodge Aspen, all that, or Polaris, eh, you know, they went a little longer with the yellow rim. But anyway, that's another thing, too, I worked on for an hour and a half is, is the detail on this tire. I wanted to get as detailed as possible. So you imagine how long it took to do all this, the edge of that tread, you know? And uh, I just did that black circle there and just, you know, making things as realistic as possible as that 50-year-old uh, uh, give or take hubcap, you know. Matter of fact, one of the things that inspired me, I pulled out, uh, was this uh, picture here that was part of a two-page ad from, I think, 71. And it's a, I think it's a Goodyear Lifesaver, eh? Sorry, uh, no, sorry, I think it's a Firestone. Super cushion. So I might actually have to take, you know, put that, bring that over here and, you, need, you know, use that to help me work on this so that it's a little more exact. Because, I don't know, to me, this looks like a very deluxe tire. Uh, look at all the detail in this. And even, look, it has like a Vogue-style 
not not double but like triple white wall tires obviously there ain't no triple white wall tire on this guy but you know again i wanted to make that as uh as uh, detailed as possible so that's about it just a really quick update it's getting closer to the end i'm i'm getting excited i'm working on it more and more i want to wrap this up it's been just over two months i've been working on this and uh it's time to to get it wrapped up and there's a few little more things to do on the body here you know the you know the moldings here a little one there a little fix up on the door handle uh the especially also the body itself here i don't i mean i want this to be like a you know this really you already see this really sharp contrast and that's the whole point i want it to be really bright where you don't see too many reflections or shadows in the body because it would have been a photo taken you know near noon or afternoon because again i've been look i've been studying these pictures for years like i said i've i've you know books at least two or three books i bought from the 70s 80s on new york so I, I got an idea of how things are supposed to look you know and actually it's funny i'm glad i remembered before i go to to before i finish this is that here on my crappy couch is actually you know for a long time when i had this thing painted the the car that is and i had the wheel done and all that i thought to myself you know is this like exact could I, could I actually really see myself getting into this car for real in terms of like a, the correct dimensions and size and the proportions being correct and you know the, the tire is right that the rim and you know by the way that was not easy drawing the car itself was not hard uh the wheel well was a little little tricky but again actually the fact of the matter is the roof is actually really uh too low uh, so, uh, but it doesn't matter because again, it's art. It doesn't have to be ag exact. That's the beauty about art. And it doesn't matter if you're drawing it. You're doing a drawing or a painting of a car, or a house, a bus. It doesn't matter. I mean, look at Van Gogh. Look at Monet. All these, you know, artworks that are worth thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, uh, I'll give you another case in point before I, I, I cut this out. You know, like look, for example, this Chevy that I did, um, you know, back a couple of years ago. It's a 38 Chevy from a photo, which I lost for a long time. I couldn't even show in the video, stupid me, because it was a photo I took. The photo wasn't even light. Like, the angle was exactly the same, but not with this type of lighting and sunset and all that. But, you know, again, I could have worked more on the grill and bumper, making it a little more realistic with some white and all that and shine. But it's it looks great the way it is. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. <coughs> Make me an offer on this. If you're serious about purchasing it, I can ship that no problem, well-packed. Probably could ship that easily, well packed for like forty bucks, I think. So uh, I don't care where you know, as long as you're uh, not in uh, Russia or one of these places where things can get lost or stolen. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. So uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It's been a perfect day to do this because it's actually well, it's not raining now, but it's been raining all day. So it's uh, we need the rain, man. We haven't had a freaking rainy day in like months. I, I swear to God, Gloria, would you like to add anything? Hmm. You want to add anything to the video? No? No, you stay golden. You stay cute. And I'll leave you with my Christine that I painted many years ago here. Well, many years ago. Not too many years ago. Also for sale. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh... And, oh, yeah, by the way, as I always mention, and I often mention it for nothing, but as you can see, I am not a rich person. I live in a two-bedroom apartment here in a... Uh, some, which some people would say a questionable neighborhood of the city. So if ever you want to send me something as a token of gratuity, as I call it, uh, you know, you can do that through my email, by PayPal, or an e-transfer in Canada. It would be much appreciated. And it's eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Very much appreciated. Or you can check me out on Patreon. I'm trying to build that up. Putting more, posting more pictures. But, you know, what they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. And there'll be more on these guys. Sometime soon, I'm gonna do a video of what I got for sale on my walls, okay? Because it doesn't work before. It didn't really work before, but it's work works now and then. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take care and adios.